Paimon didn't think we'd find the volunteers in a place like this. As knights, we are taught to hone our investigative skills. Wow! Very impressive. In my experience, the secret to finding what you are looking for is to never look for it in the first place. Don't think too much about it and don't search too hard. And before you know it, what you're looking for will appear right before your very eye. What? Don't worry about it too much. The more flustered you become, the less likely you are to find it. Pay attention to what you see in your peripheral vision, and you might just stumble upon what you're looking for. I don't know. It doesn't sound like that would work. No, seriously, it does, though. In fact, it's how I used to find my tortoise whenever he went missing. Wait! You had a pet tortoise? Yes, why? Something wrong, Paimon? No, it's, uh, well, just surprising is all. Why? Paimon can't imagine Jean having a pet tortoise. Surely you find it hard to imagine too, Master Diluc. No, I don't. I had one too when I was a kid. What's so strange about it? What? You too? the wide range of ingredients you can find in Mondstadt, and it looks like it's true! No, I'm a chef! A chef on a mission to find rare and exotic ingredients from all corners of the world! 
My name's Xiang Ling. I'm from Liyue Harbor. And you? Hello, my name's Paimon. Paimon! Why are you looking at me like that? What an exotic creature. Is it edible? <sighs> what a bummer. Can't eat it if it's your friend. You seem like good friends. I have a good friend too, called Guba. Isn't that the name of a Liyue snack? <laughs> Both the snack and my friend have a special place in my heart. Anyway, can you do some hunting for me? There's lots of game around here that would be amazing to cook with. I can't catch anything to save my life and I don't want to miss out. <sighs> Sounds like a bit of an ordeal. Don't be like that. Come on, I'll whip you up a tasty snack later. <gasps> Ooh, you had me a tasty snack. <laughs> don't worry about it. Your friend has already given me a response. I don't care how it's done, so long as you bring me back some raw meat. Great! Then I'll leave you to it. Paimon thinks she's forgotten about us. Uh, sorry. I got all excited thinking about new recipes. As promised, a tasty snack. Go on, try it. And tell me what you think. Are we your food testers now? Oh gosh, this is delicious. Can you tell us how to make it? <laughs> sure. The only thing is I haven't written down the recipe yet. Hmm. I got it. I'll make another one now so you can watch. I'm sure you'll pick it up straight away. This seems pretty hard to make. It'll take more than that to learn how to make it. And we don't have a frying pan or any condiments. Come on, it's simple. We can fry on a slab of stone and cook using some boar fat. Build a stove from rocks. Use dry grass for kindling, twigs for firewood. Sweet flowers will do for sugar, as <laughs> I just can't help myself when there's a chance to try something new. But I can't exactly bring my whole kitchen with me every time I leave the house, either. Give me a second while I get everything ready. Hey! What do you think? This is the boar's natural habitat. You can't hunt them here. You'll send them all running. We hunters know better than to kill the chicken to get at the egg. Get it? The freshest, best quality meat comes from free-range boars that grow up in the environment nature intended for them. If they all ran off, it would be a major blow to gastronomy. I'm sorry. I got excited and didn't think of the impact we'd have. <sighs> you should apologize to Draft. As our leader, he always stresses the importance of- I made a mistake, and I should- <laughs> Thanks, guys! I'll cook up some more tasty snacks for you once this is over. Okay, don't worry. Paimon will remember even if you forget. Draft ought to be in Springvale. Let's go! You must be Xiang Ling. Sorry, Mr. Traff. This was all my fault. I heard the whole story. And now that you're here in person... Ooh, he's gonna let her have it. Please, help me promote my meat! Huh? Sorry if I was a little brash. Let me explain. Springvale has built its reputation on top quality meat products, but this reputation is so far limited to Mondstadt. When I heard that the great maestro Xiang Ling herself was in Mondstadt, I asked Alan to send you over. Maestro? 
Haven't you heard? She's the one behind Wan Min Restaurant, that one-of-a-kind folk restaurant in Liyue Harbor. Her unique take on cooking ingredients is behind some of the best loved dishes in all of Liyue. They are very highly rated by travelers, too. <laughs> You're too kind. I just try to cook things that are cheap and cheerful. With a top-notch chef cooking top-notch cuisine with top-notch meat from Springvale, our reputation would spread far and wide. Hmm, I don't know. I only ever think about how to make tasty dishes. I never limit myself to specific ingredients, and I don't know the first thing about promoting anything. You use boar meat all the time anyway, surely. I can't see what the issue is. The issue is... What would you think if I added a bit of slime condensate? That's... <laughs> I mean, couldn't you add something a bit more normal? There's no such thing as normal ingredients to me. You can turn anything into a delicacy if you cook it in the right way. I will not stand for having my creativity shackled by what ingredients I can and can't use. <laughs> Food cooked like that is... <sighs> well... Since you feel so strongly about it, forget it. But it really is a pity. You know, we did come to apologize. Couldn't you be a little more flexible? It's one thing to apologize, but it's another thing entirely to change the way I approach cooking. Mmm, what's that smell? It's gorgeous! Hello! May I have a taste of your delicious cooking? <sighs> Sorry, I've taken all the orders I can for the next few days. The earliest I could put you down for is seven days from now. Is that okay? Wow, it must be delicious if it's that... Yeah, good point. Why does Draft want Zhang Ling to help when Springville already has this lady? Hmm, maybe he feels that Mondstadt cuisine can't compete with that of Tavat's biggest business hub, Luya Harbor. But I disagree. I don't think my cooking is at all inferior to anyone else's. Well then, show me what you got. Maybe I could give you some feedback. Sorry, but customer feedback like, oh, that tasted good, is no use to me. If I wanted feedback, I would ask a professional chef. <gasps> Hang on, are you... Shang Ling? That's me! <gasps> it's really you! Well... I guess you do know what you're doing when it comes to cooking meat, then. As it happens, I have one of today's prime cuts remaining. So tell me, how would you cook this? That depends on the ratio of fat to meat. With this cut, I would probably roast it over a hot stone with a little salt, some joyun chili, and kingsin flour. Kingsin flour? But the melted fat would make the flavor of the flowers ten times stronger than when eaten raw. It would overpower everything. I know, that's why it's a garnish. I would never marinate the meat in it. I've tried it before. If you baste the petals in oil and then cook them with the right heat and duration, it gets rid of the bitterness completely and leaves you with a lovely crispy topping. Then throw in some joyun chilies grown at a high altitude where the low humidity and varying temperatures lends them a unique dry heat. The petals absorb the saltiness from the sea salt, the chili spice, and the umami of the tender, freshly grilled steak, while also adding a floral aftertaste. Uh, that's pure overkill! You're going all out on the trimmings and doing no justice to the meat whatsoever! Who wants to eat a roast when you can taste everything except the roast? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop arguing! <laughs> well, there's only one surefire way out of a cooking dispute! I declare a cook-off! Suits me. If you can't beat my cooking, it'll show that draft was clearly wrong about you. All right. But if I win, you have to use my winning dish to promote Springvale. And if you lose, you have to add my winning dish to the Wan Mean menu. With a caption saying, This special addition to the Wan Mean menu is generously provided by Chef Brooke of Springvale. Meat expert. Hmm. It's a deal! I'm off to get ingredients! I will see you Wait! Wait! Let's try and catch up! Hunters! Hold on! 
Maybe I wasn't meant for this world. Close. Have you decided what you're looking for yet? No, of course not. Then how are you so sure of yourself? That's just my style. If I decided in advance exactly how I was going to cook something, there'd be no element of surprise to the dish. In the same way, if I knew what I was looking for before I found it, it wouldn't be a surprise. But that's so risky. Relax. This is how I came up with all the signature dishes at Wanmin Restaurant. Let's look around here. I'll let you know when I find something I like. Come to Leeway. Let's keep looking and see what else we can find.
but those little fellas pack quite a punch. From what I've observed, spicy food is a rarity in Mondstadt, <laughs> so this will be perfect. Go and pick some. Get a good handful. Like we're lacking some. It's missing a. Yeah, now that you mention it, it is a little. <laughs> Brooke may be a stickler for convention, but she is a talented chef nonetheless. There's no doubt she will source the fanciest quality ingredients. To win this, we'll take a truly mind blowing dish. Something like sea serpent salad. Stir fried kings in flour, or wild mushrooms in a rich slime jus. Ah, uh, a slime jus? <laughs> I know how weird it sounds, but I guarantee you it tastes incredible. I'll make some for you next time. 
<laughs> you won't be disappointed when you taste it. Although it looks a teensy bit gross. Never mind that. I've just remembered there's somewhere I never checked out last time. My gut tells me that's where we'll hit the jackpot. Let's take a look. He's shivering. We need to warm him up quick. Make a fire. Hot soup would be even better. How about I look after him while you make him a nice warm bowl of soup? We passed a hillitro camp on the way here. Great. Be as quick as you can. Mm. Oh, that is better. Thank you. That soup. Yes. I was chasing a boar, and after I followed him inside, but ran into a cryo regis vine. It froze me instantly. When I woke up, I ran straight outside, but I only made it this far before my strength failed me. How big was it exactly? They do now. I'd heard of them before from others, but this was the first time seeing one with my own eyes. Yikes! We should definitely keep our distance from the ruins. It sounds dangerous. It sounds delicious! That's it! The missing ingredients! The icing on the cake! Calm down! Can we really eat a tree that's that aggressive? Only one way to find out! Let's go! <sighs> Off she goes again. Do not worry about me. I'll be fine. But you must stop her. She is putting herself in grave danger. Ha! 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 Ha!
Yeah. 